Hi everyone. So most of you that follow me know that occasionally I do get dreams for people on my channel. I do get channeled messages through dreams. And I just had a dream about a kitty. I just channeled the kitty and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know this reading is gonna make me emotional because this kitty is so sweet and this kitty cat just wants a home. Um, I'm seeing that this cat is either being currently abused or for most of you they were previously abused. There's a couple different storylines here. Bear with me because this might be for you. Like if you feel drawn to this, this message right here, like if you clicked on this and you're thinking, I know I had no idea why I clicked on this. I don't even have a cat. I don't know anyone that has a cat. It might still be for you. This might be coming in the near future. There might be a stray cat that comes to you. So, so please just bear with me. I'll try to make the message short. Um, but, and there are a few different storylines here. So bear with me. But in the dream... There was this kitty that was, uh, it ran away. I feel like the cat had been abused. I feel like the cat had been previously abused and it ran away. And this could be a stray cat that you've just taken in, or it might be a stray cat that is around you, maybe in your area, maybe within the next couple of weeks or so, it's going to start coming to your door more and more often, and then you're going to end up taking it in. There is a second storyline here as well, where you have like a, a, like a daughter or a son or someone or like a friend that has a cat and they're abusing the cat. And you like when you're at their house, maybe they're like hoarding or there's just some kind of, you can tell the cat's not being taken care of. Like the cat has fleas or it's just very skinny. Like you're, you're being called to save a cat, to help a cat somehow, whoever this is for. So a couple different storylines. I'm going to get into the first one that I, that came through in the dream first, and then I'll get into the second one after. So in the dream, this cat had been abused and it ran away and it was trying to, it, it like wanted a new home. And in the dream, there was this older man, cause in the dream, it's like, I took the cat and there was this older man and he was like, oh, that's my daughter's cat. And I, you know, in the dream, it's like the cat really, I, I regretted giving the cat back to the, to the older man, you know, and he promised me, he's like, you know, that cat's like, I, I forget what he said, but it was basically like the gist of it was, you know, that cat's in our family. I know my daughter wasn't taking care of the cat. I promise I'm not going to give the cat back to my daughter. Uh, we just want the cat back just in general. And in the dream, I had this regret giving the cat back to this man because I, I knew deep down that he was lying and that he actually was most likely going to give the cat back to his daughter. Um, this was an older man. And I feel like it, it was just it was a really sad dream kind of because the cat like felt at home with me. The cat wanted to stay with me. The cat was, um, it's like I immediately regretted giving the cat back to them. So, and I don't want to encourage people to go steal someone's cat, but it's, it's like one of those situations where you might come across a stray cat and, you know, again, use your intuition, use discernment because, the, you know, I don't want someone to find a cat that's being well taken care of and just, you know, see this video and be like, oh, I'm not going to give the cat back now. But I think that the cat's going to let you know, like energetically, um, there's going to be signs. There's going to be signs that this video is for you. If you've just found a stray cat or if you're about to find a stray cat, um, again, we're going to get into storyline two in just a minute here where there is a cat around you that's being abused, but it might not be a stray. It might be, it might belong to someone that you know. But for that first storyline, yeah, in that dream, it's like I had this instant regret about giving the cat back to the person. Like I felt like... It's like the cat didn't just escape. The cat ran away. The cat intentionally ran away. It did not want to be with them anymore. It was not being taken care of. It wasn't being properly fed. It wasn't being loved. It felt very alone with those people. Um, it's going to make me emotional. Like just see, I hate I hate cats going through that. It makes me sad. It makes me sad. And it makes sense that a kitty spirit would come to me because I am a, a huge cat person. So, so yeah, it's like, I just, yeah, I had this regret giving them back. I, it's like the cat didn't want to go back with them. So if you, if you find a stray cat or if you found a stray cat and the cat's just like super skinny, you can tell maybe the cat maybe even has like a little bit of like a kitty PTSD, um, where it's like getting startled easily. 
I mean, yeah, cats get startled easily, but it can also be a sign of trauma. You know what I mean? There's like, there's certain signs that you're going to see that the cat wasn't fed or, or well taken care of, or that the cat was neglected, that the cat was like love starved. It's like, you might see certain signs of that. Like your intuition is going to be kind of pushing you to say, Hey, don't, don't post this cat on social media. Don't try to find its owners. This cat did not just randomly run out. This cat escaped a very bad situation that it was in. And the cat is looking for a new home. The cat is, is just, it, the cat just needs peace. It needs healing. It needs comfort. It, it does not, it, it just escaped a very bad situation. So it needs to be protected from that. So I wouldn't, um, and in the dream, I knew the woman that had the cat too. I was like, oh, I know her. I know that she likes to hoard. I know that she's not, she's not fit to be raising, to be taking care of that cat. So, so yeah, if you find a stray cat and you're in that situation where it's like, there's something just off there, it, it's, it's saying, you know, keep the cat, keep the cat safe. Um, don't, don't try to find its owners in that case. Again, only if this is for you, only if this is resonating and your spirit, your, your spirit guides are pushing you for, towards that and you're seeing the signs and you're, you're using your own discernment. And I would say, yeah, do not try to find the cat's owners, uh, just protect that kitty because it, it escaped a bad situation. Um, what else was I going to say about that? I feel like you might also not want a cat. And I feel like the kitty is really saying, be patient with me because I'm going to, um, this could even be a cat that you've taken in that is having a hard time warming up to you, but it's, it's the cat in the dream. The cat was very attached to me. It was actually a very affectionate kitty. I saw it, it was, it was a very thin cat. It was white. I think it was a female and it had, um, but, but you don't have to have that kind of cat for this to be for you. It might be one main person or one main cat I was channeling and this might apply to a few of you, but, but yeah, in the dream, it's like, it might've been part tabby, but it had like, it was like white and it had these, like these big spots, but it was, she was very sweet. She was very affectionate. Um, but you could tell by her weight, like you could just tell, I mean, she was very thin. She was very, I don't know. It's just like she felt very attached to me in the dream. Like she didn't want to leave. You know, it's like she really bonded with me. And this that's how I feel it's going to happen is like the stray cat is very attached to you or they're going to be very attached to you. And I know it's a responsibility you probably don't want, but this cat really needs you. Because I feel like whoever this was for, like you don't, um, you don't want a cat or like you might like cats, but you might be more of a dog person or you're just not sure if you have the time for a cat right now. But it's like this cat is being drawn to you because I feel like you have healing abilities. This cat is just looking for a safe space. They, they just, this cat is, is not that hard to take care of. I mean, it just, the cat just wants love. It just wants to be loved. It wants affection. It wants food, you know, a clean water bowl, food, um, some attention. It, it's not asking for much. It really just needs a safe space to rest and heal. Whatever environment it came from, it was very chaotic. It was very um, either abusive or there was just yelling all the time. Um, again, just being neglected. So it's, it's just even just being in a home where there's not the constant screaming is going to be a major upgrade. You know what I mean? Like even, you know, it, it, it does want your attention, but I'm just saying like just just it needs peace. It, it needs peace. And it's being drawn to you for that. And you might even have a soul contract with this kitty to offer them that. Because I feel like they're just yeah, it's like they're drawn to your energy. They're coming to you for this, for this uh, support, this this healing, this love, this kitty, like I said, this kitty's going to be I, I get such a sweet energy from this kitty cat. Um, They're going to be if they're already in your life, if this is a stray, they're telling me that they already are very attached to you. They might not show it because of their damage, but they are, they are, you know, cats get damaged, you know, emotionally, just like humans do. They have mental damage, just like humans do. So when they've been abused, when they've been in bad environments, they do sometimes get skittish. Um, and the cat I was seeing in my dream wasn't really skittish. She was very affectionate, but it, it's, again, there's a few different storylines here. It's the same energy group, but a few different storylines. But this cat is attached to you. Even if they are a little bit skittish, they might not be fully, they might be a little bit jumpy. They might not be fully trusting with you, but they want to trust you. They do want to trust you. Their little, their little kitty heart wants to open up, but they just need some patience. They've just been through a lot and they're still healing that. They're still getting used to being in a calm environment. 
So this could even be a cat that you've adopted that's worried that you're going to take them back to the shelter. And they're saying, you know, please don't take me back to the shelter. Like, I, I please be patient with me. Like, because you are seeing progress. It might not be as fast as you want, but the cat is starting to, um, like, come out more. Like, they're not hiding as much. They're starting to be a little bit more social with you. So the cats, I think the kitty's kind of worried. It's like saying, they're, the, the kitty is basically saying, please don't abandon me. Like, I've gone through a lot. Just be patient. Um, I will start being more affectionate. I've just, I've been abused. I don't want to get hurt again. Um, third storyline. So let's see. So that was actually, yeah, there's actually a few storylines there. But yeah, with that first one, it's... um. Again, like I said, it's like you might not want a cat, but honestly, I think that having this cat is going to be rewarding for you because in the dream, it's like as soon as I looked for, for the cat's owners and gave the cat up, I had like an instant like regret where I was like, wait a minute, the cat's not going to be happy there. And the cat was happy with me. The cat felt so safe with me and it felt so attached to me. And I feel like I broke his little kitty heart by giving it back to that that bad environment it was in. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's a very gentle kitty. It doesn't belong in a shelter. It doesn't, it belongs with you, honestly. I know if this is for you, you might not want to hear it because you might be like, I don't have time for a cat. I can't do this, but it, it belongs with you. And I think deep down, you kind of know that, that you are, you do have those healing abilities. It shows you for a reason. The timing might not be perfect. It might be a little bit stressful, but it, it genuinely wants to be with you, even if it's not showing it fully. Like, I think it is showing it, but it's like, it's, you know, again, the kitty has a little bit of trust issues, but but she does, um, he or she does feel very attached to you. They they do feel very bonded with you. Or they will if this is, ne you know, near future energy where there's like a strand in your area that's going to start coming to you. Um, you know, their little kitty intuition is, is leading them to you. So they do really need you. So I would, I would help this kitty. It really needs, I mean, it needs food and water, but it needs love too. It really just needs some gentleness and affection because I feel like it didn't get that at its old home. I feel like it was just one of, it's, it's like, I think it was one with one of those people that's just kind of like, oh, a cat is a cat, you know, just, it's just there to chase mice or what, you know what I mean? Like the, this is a very, this is like a lap cat. This is a, or at least the main cat that I'm channeling is more of a lap cat where it's, it's like, it wants to be pet. It wants to be loved. Um... This could even be for someone who's thinking about adopting a cat and maybe you're being guided to go to the shelter and this is the cat you're going to find there. Like maybe you're on the fence about adopting a cat. Maybe you want to go to the shelter. That that could be for someone. But yeah, in that environment, it's like it was so neglected. So it's like, it, yeah, it needs food and water, but it needs, it wants to cuddle. It wants to, it wants to be pet. It wants, it just really wants gentle energy. It's such a sweet, gentle soul that I'm picking up. Um, third storyline is... I think this is for a mother or father and you have a daughter who's kind of an emotional wreck, to be honest. Um, and there could be more people in this group. So it could be like, it could be I, for, for the my main person I'm channeling. I feel like it's like a daughter of yours that has this cat, but it could be a friend. It could be another family member. It could be, you know, it could be a house you work at even, but it's like you go in, there's some environment that you're in and you go in and you see this cat and you know it's not being taken care of. Like, the cat's, like, got scabs all over it. Um, it's got fleas. It's got, uh, like, maybe it's just kind of kept outside, but it's more of an indoor cat. Like, it's not really, like, it doesn't want to be an outdoor cat. Like, yeah, there's situations where there are stray cats that like is it's really hard to get them indoors but it's like this isn't that situation this is like a very affectionate cat that does not belong outdoors this cat does not this cat doesn't want to be an outdoor cat it wants to be an indoor lap cat so it's like the situation where it's like you can tell they're not being taken care of like that I feel like the house is a mess too it's like they're not this person's not taking care of themselves or their animals um I feel like the cat is just really, uh, yeah, it's, it's like it's fur is all mangy or it's fur is like there's scabs or something or like dirty or something. There's something on its fur, or like the water bowls and maybe not clean or there's not enough food and water. And your intuition is telling you that you need to step up and do something. You're feeling this, but I feel like you've been ignoring it because you're like, well, this is my daughter's cat. Like she's, you know, she's on drugs or she's got this going on. She doesn't have anybody outside of this cat. I don't want to interfere with that. But I mean... Honestly, cats are like children. 
cats are just very pure and innocent and you, people it's not right for people to use them as a crutch it's, it's like you you can't use a child like that the same way you shouldn't be using a cat or a dog like that they have their own personalities their own energies their own emotions you know they have feelings they can't just mean be neglected to be a crutch for someone who's messing their life up it's not fair to the cat and you know this whoever this is for is like you know this maybe you just feel like again it's like you don't want to take the cat away because it's all that you feel like it's all they have or you feel like um, it's not your place. But honestly, I'm, I'm feeling like you were guided there for a reason. You're being shown this for a reason. That cat needs help. That cat, and that's even a worse situation, I think, than, than the other situation it was with the stray. It's, or it's like similar, at least. Because that cat might actually die if it's not taken care of. Like, I see it's very neglected. Like, I keep seeing it's water bowl and it's like it's dirty. It's like it's not, that that cat really needs to be saved, honestly. Um, so please, if you can, and again, you know, full disclaimer for legal reasons, I, I have to, I have to put it out there that I am not responsible for anything you do or do not do as a result of these readings, use discernment, use your own intuition. I'll just say that if it were me personally, I would take that cat out of there. I would find a way. I would not give a shit if I had to steal the cat, honestly, to protect the cat. If it's that bad of a situation, yeah, I would, I would step in and do what I need to do for the cat. I feel like I would. It's, it's, this cat needs your help. This cat is asking you for your help. And you need to use discernment whether you just take the cat or whether you just tell this person, hey, like, this person might not even want the cat. This person might see the cat as a burden. You might even be able to say, hey, like, can I take the cat for you while you get, you know, while you heal from your surgery or while you, this, or while you heal from this drug addiction or whatever it is they're going through. You know, like while you get things together, do you, do you want me to, you know, I, do you mind if I just take this cat home? It'll be fed and taken care of, like get that cat out of there. However you have to do it. I don't care if you have to sneak in there just, or I can't say that legally, but you know what I mean? Let me, let me put it that way. I, I would probably do that. I would, I would get the cat out of there. I would find a way, but yeah, for some, I feel like they'll just let you for some, I feel like that you're actually going to be surprised where they're just like, yeah, I don't even want this damn cat. Like this cat was my ex's cat and it just stayed here. I don't even want this cat. I just feel bad for it. Like the, the cat's not really, um, loved there. It, it's not really, uh, it's not taken care of. I should say it might be loved. Like if, but it's, it's more loved in like a, it's being used as a crutch again. It's, it's not, it's not genuinely, it, yeah, it's not genuinely, um, happy. Uh, let's see. And you can even say it's temporary. And honestly, I don't think it will end up being temporary, but you can start it that way. You can just say, Hey, you're recovering from something. Let me take it for a couple of weeks. Um, as soon as you're better, I'll bring the cat back. And honestly, I think the person is just not going to want the cat back. They're just, it's going to, it's going to be like what, you know, two weeks, one month, two months, it's going to, the time's going to keep dragging on and it's going to end up being your cat. But again, it's meant to be your cat. Even if you're not a cat person, this kitty is going to open your heart up and change that. This, this kitty wants to be with you. It's chosen you. I know it would be easy to just pick it up and drop it off at a shelter, but it, it does not belong at a shelter. It belongs with you. And you can feel that. You can feel that kind of soul bond with this cat, even if it's not your usual thing, even if you don't feel like you have time for it. It's it's going to work itself out. Or maybe you even know someone that wants a cat that, that's looking for that. But I, feel, but I feel like it, I don't know, I just feel like it really is going to, well, for most of you, I feel like it's going to be really connected to you specifically. But anyway, this this sweet kitty is telling me, um, because I pulled some cards beforehand, and with the Eight of Swords, it, it feels very trapped, very neglected, kind of um imprisoned. Um, I think it's, again, it's saying be patient with me. Because the cat in my dream was very sweet, but for some of you, you might be dealing with a cat that is more of like, it, like again, it's kind of very damaged and neglected and jumpy, but it's going to start warming up to you. Um, Queen of Pentacles, I feel I get a feminine energy from this cat. I feel like it's a female cat, but it could just be a male cat that has a very strong, like, just gentle, um, empathetic, just kind of more of a feminine energy. It's very sweet. But she's basically telling me that she's going to try to be the Queen of Pentacles. Um, 
she wants stability. She just wants, it's going to make me emotional. She just, she wants stability. She wants, the Queen of Pentacles can be about self-care too. Same with the Empress. So it's like she just she just wants love. She just wants to be pet. She just wants to be talked to. She just wants. It makes me so sad because I feel like, like, yeah, she wants food and water, but it's like I just feel like she like meows at her owners and it's like they don't. Or whoever she escaped from, uh, whatever the storyline is, it's like they, they kind of just see her as a cat. They don't. She's very intelligent. Oh, it's going to make me emotional. I love kitties. And it just makes me sad. I hate seeing cats in this kind of situation. Ugh. <sighs> it just makes me sad because I feel like she's very... Um... I'm going to have to pause, actually. <laughs> if you're into, like, manifestation or anything, please send this kitty good energy, too. However you do it, whether it's through witchcraft or prayer, just this kitty needs some good energy. Oh, but I just see this kitty. It's like she's very... Um... She's very intelligent and I feel like she meows at her owners and they just ignore her like they just really neglect her like they just see her as they're, they're those people that just you know an animal is just a dumb animal those kind of people those very closed minded maybe like in you know some of those like elderly couples too where they just kind of have that old mentality of like cats are just there to to chase mice they don't have feelings like animals don't feel anything they're that kind of couple. So this like very sweet, very empathetic, very intelligent little baby is like trying to talk to them and trying to have little meow conversations and trying to, you know, do things with them and be involved in their lives. And it's like they're not they're not seeing her. She feels so invisible with them. She feels so invisible with them. And, and again, there's a few different storylines here. For So for some, this is a cat that you have or that you're going to get from the shelter and this is their backstory. This is what they went through. For others, I feel like this is, again, a stray cat that's running away from a bad environment that's coming to you. For others, it's, you know, the third situation. I mean, take it as it resonates, though, because there could be other scenarios here, too, that I didn't even pick up, but you know it's for you, so take it as it fits. You know, if you're feeling drawn to this video, there's a reason for that. But, um, but yeah, it's like she feels alone and trapped, and she's showing me, like, she wants to be the Queen of Pentacles. She wants, you know, Queen of Pentacles is... <laughs> stable she just wants a stable a calm home environment she just wants that love and attention someone that's gonna want to be part of her life um someone and she's not really a demanding high maintenance cat she just you know it's like when you're watching a movie she wants to be there with you she wants to she wants to talk to you she wants to cuddle with you she wants you know, she's she's not asking for a whole lot. She just doesn't want to be an outdoor cat or or be, you know, pushed away from the family. She just feels like she doesn't have a family. It makes me so sad. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's going to make me cry again because I was seeing, like, the Ten of Pentacles is, like, a family card, too. And she's, like, saying, she's, like, I just want a family. Like, I just want a family. Again, I know you're not ready for this, whoever this is for, but but she's choosing you. She's either about to, either she's coming into your life and she's choosing you or she already has chosen you. So please be patient with her. She is very damaged and traumatized, but she has a really big heart. She is a very affectionate kitty deep down. Um, oh my gosh, this makes me sad. Eight of Pentacles. She's, she's also saying, she's like, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on like being the queen of cups again. She's like, I just want a stable place. I'm, um... Eight of Pentacles is like patience and perseverance. It's like she's she's like saying like, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on, you know, Queen of Cups is like emotionally mature and open. She's like, I'm going to work on, you know, trusting people again. I want to trust people again. I want to open my little kitty heart to you. I, I want to be vulnerable. She's so gentle. She's just, I get such a gentle, sweet, pure energy from her. I mean, all cats are gentle, but it's like more than most. You know what I mean? She's just very, very, very loving and innocent. Um, she has anxiety, though, a little bit. She feels like so much was stolen from her. Empress is also about self-care again just just she just wants love she just wants a home and a family and she feels left out in the cold neglected I would keep an eye out for strays in your area she might already because she's being telepathically drawn to you so she could already be like around your um 
like apartment or house or wherever you live she might already be in that that area but but go with go with your intuition when you <laughs> when you see her when you see her it doesn't I mean, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. You know what I mean? You might be in a situation where you have roommates that don't want a cat, but it's, it's like this this baby needs you. She really needs you. So I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helps somebody. I hope you you find this kitty um, and take care of her. She's she's. I, I get this energy of like she's going to reward you too. She's going to reward you for it. She's going to she's she's kind of saying I'm worth it. I know I'm. I know I'm a little damaged. I know I know, but I'm I'm worth it. I'm worth the I'm worth the energy. I'm I'm gonna be worth the effort. She's gonna be so appreciative. Just being in a calm home, she's just gonna be so, so appreciative and so loving with you. Um Yeah, and she's already gotten attached. So so yeah, take care of this baby. Anyway, I'm gonna put this out. Thank you guys for watching.